My friend Katrina claims she's not a good cook, but I can assure you she's an amazing cook. And today I'm going to be doing one of her specialities, which is veal wrapped with asparagus, prosciutto and provolone. It is to die for, and I'm also going to be serving it with a rocket salsa. So to start with, we need to do our wraps. And I've got some beautiful veal here. When you're looking for veal at your butcher, you want that real pale colour to it. If it's quite red, you know that it's a little bit older than veal. Veal. So look out for a colour like that, okay? And when you're asking for your scallopinis, which is just flattened out veal like this, ask them to get it really thin, as thin as you can go. This is about half a centimetre thick. So we're going to start filling this with all these beautiful flavours. To start with, we need some prosciutto and one of my favourites is San Daniel prosciutto, but you can also use parma. You want to get your deli to cut it quite thin, so it's almost shaved pieces of prosciutto there. And we just want to almost get it to the same size as that piece of veal. Just one thin layer of that. Next step is the provolone. I think it's much easier to get a peeler like this and simply grate thin pieces of this. Now, I love to use provolone, or I should say Katrina uses provolone in this, because it melts as soon as it hits the heat. You could also use some mozzarella for this. It works beautifully. So we want, you know, a few shavings and then neatly arrange that just in the centre there. So when this is cooked and you cut into it, you've got that goo factor, which I think is essential when you're making something like this. Last but not least, some asparagus. And I've just cut the woody ends off. We just put that to the bottom end like so. A little glug of olive oil. And I'm not seasoning this with salt at all. I think the prosciutto's salty enough. And we start wrapping nice and tightly, just like that. So we've got little parcels of provolone and prosciutto. Now you can see this is why we've asked our butcher to just really pound that meat quite thinly because it becomes quite a thick parcel there. No wonder why Katrina makes this every single time we go to a house because it looks delicious and I can guarantee it is going to taste sensational.